Hello, I'm Antoine, and in this video, I will be showing you how to generate an island with the Voxel plugin. Um, so before this tutorial, you will need to have uh, the plugin installed to a new project. Um, then from there, we're just going to create a new default project, delete the starting platform, and add a Voxel world. And then we're going to go ahead and create a Voxel graph. I'm just going to call mine Island. And square VG. And then we're going to create a simplex noise fractal, a 2D simplex noise fractal. Um, then we want to get X. And we're going to get Y. And then I'm going to set the frequency even lower. Let's try 0, 0, 0.005 and we're going to save this as a local variable and this is going to be base noise. Next we're going to go and we're going to get base noise and we want to multiply it by the uh, noise scale so we're just going to create a float param noise scale. Okay. Then I'm going to set mine to probably like a hundred. Then we are going to go ahead and add it to our uh, size. So we need a new parameter. This is going to be island. Or, let's just ditch that. We'll just call it size. Uh, I'm going to set mine to like 70, 175 maybe. Um, then we want to get a vector length. We just want this one. We're going to split the vector pin. And then instead of typing X and Y in again, we're just going to copy and paste them. And we don't need to get Z, just X and Y. Then we're going to subtract the noise from this, uh, from the vector length. Then we want to divide, and we're going to set this to another, and this is, uh, let's just call it uh, trying to think of what it's called. Uh, we're just going to call it slope. That's not exactly what it is, but it'll work. Um, for now, I'm going to set mine to like 20. Probably need to change quite a bit of these values later, but this will work for now. Okay, next we're going to clamp it, and we're going to do like negative 25 on the min. Uh, max is fine. And then we want to lerp. And we just want the normal lerp, and this is going to be the alpha. Uh, then we want to get Z, and we're going to add, and this is going to be B. So I'm just going to set mine to 25, uh, and then this is going to be below the waterline. Um, that doesn't necessarily make sense, but the plus means it's beneath the waterline, basically, and the negative will be above the waterline, in a way. Um, you probably can reverse it, but so it will make more sense. Um, I'm just going to set that to 25 also. Actually, let's do 15 instead. Okay, then we're going to save this as island. 
And then we just want to set the value. Island. And then, as you can see, we get an island example over here. Um, we're going to see if we need to tweak this at all. So, we're going to go to our voxel world, we're going to change it to object, and I'm just going to drag it in. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, as you can see, it's a little bit extreme. So we're going to need to change a little bit. Um, okay, so if we just use the drop down right here, uh, let's drop this to like 100, or increase it to 100. So now we're dividing it by more. Um, and as you can see, we have a little island here. Um, and from here you can do biomes or whatever you want with it, but this is the how you base the, this is the most basic island you can make uh, to my knowledge. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Um,